Hello and welcome to Let's Play Alluvium. Let's get started. I've always had a knack for seeing what's coming. Goes with my line of work, inspecting a dam or a bridge. You're looking for signs of failure years in advance. The bridge we were headed to, remote part of West Papua, that could wait 10 years for another experienced engineer. Huh. But I don't foresee everything. Okay. Interesting. Thirsty. Oh, so it's not just a shadow, it's actually a person that's that color. That reminds me of that game with uh, people made out of gum. The water in the pool is brackish, undrinkable. I'd realized oh. immediately that blocking the tidal flow upstream was our first priority. Without the dam to isolate the fresh water, we wouldn't have lasted two days. Maybe that would have been better. Without this outflow drain, the dam could never hold the massive pressure that would build above it. I ensured we built it strong, but rubble and recycled plane wreckage is no substitute for reinforced concrete. Plus, it makes a convenient drinking fountain. Cheers! I guess green water is good water, and uh, oh. Aha! My pizza is here! Where <laughs> your pizza? <laughs> Not with my bare hands. Oh. Uh, sorry. The trunk of the tree fern is wrapped in brown, hair-like fibers. I tear away a handful of the dry threads. Call that brown? Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. There's not much left of the engine, just one steel prop blade hanging on by a bolt. Mm. I'd need a I'd need appropriate tools to get it off. Okay. It's burning well. That's good. Oh, a spear. I guess we'll be spear fishing. I spear the fish on my second attempt. I'm getting better at this. No kidding. What's that? What? Unbelieving, I stare at the ship chugging slowly across the horizon. There's a lump in my throat, as for the first time in weeks, the hope of rescue is rekindled. But they won't see me. The fire! Oh. Oh, God, the fire is out! I have to get it lit. They must see me. Yes, uh, is that, is, um... Been sleeping on these... F there, that's I kindling? I found the faint spark. It glows, but without tinder, doesn't catch. Tinder, tinder, uh, uh... No. Palm tree? No. Okay. I'd need appropriate... No. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I picked up that stuff before. This. I nest the fibers in amongst the dying coals. Hurry. I fan the spark until it catches, and soon the fire is roaring again. I look up at the eerie uh. harmonic howl. One of those strange wild dogs. Uh. Well, if we... Spirit... We would have a lot of meat. You're welcome to that fish, my friend. Oh, okay. As long it's as your this friend. boat sees my fire, I should be. The dog is on me in an instant. What? Rancid breath hot on my face as I struggle to keep its snapping teeth from my throat. I try, I try to kick the dog off. It moves like a snake, all wire what? and muscle, and it's on me again in a second. I... It's burning well. It's burning well. It's burning well. <laughs> With my free hand, I hold the branch into the fire until it catches. I drive the flaming brand into the Cook beast's the face. As it leaps back with a snarl, I hear that terrible howling all around me. I swing the branch around wildly, kicking at the sand with my heels as I back away from the circling dogs. Uh. I dash past the nearest dog. In response, the beast leaps forward. Uh. Iron jaws close around my throat. I see it all in an instant. No, not trying that. Okay. 
I sweep the flaming branch around, buying myself an extra second or two. Go away, dog! I dash past the nearest dog. In response, I open something else. Something else, something else. Um, Don't think so. No good. Put it on fire! It's gonna scare them, right? I sweep the flaming branch around. Uh, I don't have anything else. Don't think so. No. I sweep. There's nothing I else I can do. I sweep the flaming branch around. What else can I do? I can't put anything on fire, and I can't get the dogs to fuck off. I sweep the flaming branch. Swing up the tree as the first dog darts in, snapping at my ankles. Safe for a second, I remember the ship and look up. No, its course is unchanged. My fire now hidden to them by the rocks on the beach below. No. With desperation, I thrust the burning branch into the leaves above me and they Burn explode it. into flame. Burn it! With the howling of the dogs below me, and the furnace above already blistering the skin on my hands. I watch the ship sail slowly out of sight. No. How could I they not my see that? Weakening and shut my eyes against the pain. And how are the Through dogs not scared eyelids, of that? The fire appears as an all-consuming wave of blood, washing it all away. Then I'm falling. Falling. <laughs> 